Hello friends and welcome to Android for Dev channel. Today we are going to learn about how you can create class and object in Kotlin. You might be previously learned the class and object in Java, but it is possible that some of our new programmer doesn't know regarding the class and object. So I'm going to explain in detail what is a class and object in Kotlin. Okay. So Let's start with the first definition, Kotlin class. A class is a blueprint for the object and object is its state, right? Uh, just, taking, just taking one example like uh, prototype of the car, means you have one prototype of the car which contains all the property, property uh, like tires, engine, windows, specifications, or car color, Based on those description, your car, your based on those description, your car model will will get ready, right? So there can be the multiple model, but the base of the car will remain same. Means it will have all the cars will have windows, tires, and colors. Those properties will remain same in all the cars. There might be some additional feature, but the basic will be the same, right? So, so it's the same concept is the class and object, right? I will show you how it is same in Android Studio, but first just check the syntax of the class in Kotlin. How you can declare class in Kotlin? You have to write the class keyword and then the class name this can could this could be anything it is not compulsory the class name right and it will contains property and member functions now let's take one example that you can see that that i have declared the one class class model the property is car color and i can set the color uh, using this method of functions and i can get the car color using this method of function fun is a keyword in the kotlin to declare the function or the methods in it Okay, I will I will uh, take the detailed lecture for functions also in the next videos and uh, uh, later we will see the Kotlin object but let's create one Kotlin class in Android Studio. So first of all, let's create one package, go to new package and uh, give the name like model or POJO. Right? Now new Kotlin here don't choose a file choose class and give the name like a car model or car pojo whatever you like and hit the enter button and yes the class is now created as you have you can you can see that uh, this is a syntax and it matches this one right so now create one property for the car so we will create where car color okay regarding this this where is a variable is a keyword to declare the variable if you don't know what is this please check my previous videos in this series right so car color and we will declare this as a string and it's empty string because in initially we don't know what will be the car color after that let's create one function let's declare this as a private private is a modifier if you don't know what is the modifier let me know i will create the one video please let me know in the comment box so now function set car color and we will pass the color as a parameter now the now let's car color is equal to color right now the function get car color it will return the string right in java we just do return and and write we write like this something right wide string something like this not wide actually the string get color something like this but in kotlin it is a little bit different we will write like this and then return car color 
Now this is our class. And we can declare many other properties if we want, like private where wheels, something like this. But for this example, we are not going to take this, but you can declare like something like this, okay? And then you can create a set method and getter method for the same as we have declared for the car colors. Now let's move to the object part. So Kotlin object. So Kotlin object is a single static instance of a class, right? So this is simple definition that, that, uh, that you can create a single static in instance of a class, right? It is called as, it is called an object. Okay, now the what is, how you can create the object? See, this is a car model and you need to just declare using your keyword, keyword where, well, or const, anything. You can, you can use const, sorry, where and while. So this is how you can declare any object in Kotlin. So let's declare one object of the car. Now where car, uh, where Audi car, okay. I, we will create two objects, car model and where BMW car is equal to car model, right. This is a, this is a model name we have declared here, right. Now, what we will do is, we will set the color of the car. Now, how we can access these properties through the object, because we can't access car color, right? So, Ori, that car color, because it is a private modifier. I will explain you all the modifiers in detail in next videos, okay? So, you can do, you can use using the dot directly this, uh, this variable, you can't access this variable directly. Okay, so now what we need to do is to set the car color. This is a function, it is a declared public, so we can access this now. This pass black color in it. Now, what we will do is we will try to print this color in our uh, emulator. Okay, so. Uh, let's let take the one text here it's already there so what i will do is i will just going to print text is equal to auricar dot get color now it will print black let's run this example here you can see that black is printed now okay now the issue is the main thing you need to understand is you have assigned car color to Audi car object, but you cannot access the same color from the BMW object. Let's see this. Okay, we have assigned the car color to Audi car object, and now we are trying to get color name from BMW car. And what it will do? Let's see this. It will print nothing because by default. This one is blank and we haven't assigned any value to the BMW car model for the car color. Okay, we have assigned that the color to the Audi car. So what we need to do is we need to just put BMW car and now when we run the project, yes, it will show us a black color because now we have run the now because now we have used a BMW car to for the set for setting the car color, right? So this is the main thing you need to understand that both the both the objects are different from each other but the prototype or definition is remain same through the program so this is the main thing which i want to show you today there are the there are the some types of class in kotlin also but i don't want to put all the things together and rush you so if you like this video Please subscribe and let me know if you want me to create some other videos. So I will definitely I will definitely create those videos for you. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel. We will meet next time. Thank you.